Hi hey there, welcome back. This is Professor Hank, and in this video, we continue our discussion on Python lists. Specifically, we're going to introduce some useful functions and methods. The two functions we'll take a look at will be the min and the max functions, both of which are useful for finding the smallest uh, and biggest value in a list, respectively, and some methods that belong to the list object, specifically index, insert, sort, remove, and reverse. Index is useful for determining where within a list something exists, if it exists at all. Insert allows you to add an additional piece of data to your list at a location of your choosing. More on that later. The sort method allows you to sort in ascending order items in the list. Remove allows you to remove an item from the list by searching for that item in the list. And finally, reverse will allow you to reverse the order in which items appear in the list. Okay, so let's look at an example here. I'm gonna write a program that illustrates these functions and these methods and how they work. Uh, so let's start off with the functions min and max, and these functions are gonna work just fine so long as the items in the list can be compared using a relational operator. Okay, so for this example, I wanna keep it simple, just gonna use integers, but again, works with anything that can be compared with relational operators. Okay, if they can't, then you're going to raise an exception and your program's going to crash. Okay, but let's take a look and see how min works, right? So let's say that I wanted to find the smallest value in a list, right? If I wanted to do that, then I could take that value and store it in some kind of variable. Let me call that variable smallest. And then I'll call the built-in function min and pass to it as an argument the name of my list, right? And similarly, if I wanted to find what the biggest item was in the list, I would call uh, the built-in max function and pass the name of the list as an argument. And it's gonna return uh, the value that is the biggest, right? So if I go ahead and print smallest and biggest, right, what we're gonna see is five and eight uh, respectively, right? So. Five was assigned to smallest because, hey, it's the smallest item in the list. And eight was assigned to biggest because, hey, it's the biggest item in the list. Okay, so let's now take a look at some of the useful methods. Okay, and we'll start off with index. And what the index method does is it accepts an argument. Uh, and that argument is gonna be a copy of the value that you are searching for, right? So. Uh, let's say that uh, I want to find where seven is located, right? So I'm going to take the name of the list, apply that dot operator, and then the index method name, I'm going to type that sucker out. And then as an argument, I'm going to put what I'm interested in finding, right? So if, right, this is an example of index, and if seven is found, then I is going to be assigned to. Why? Because remember how counting of indexes go with lists, eight's index zero, six is index one, seven is index two, five is index three. So seven's gonna be found in that third position, therefore I is gonna be assigned two, and I can print that out and show that to you. Okay, now, if it's not found, right, then an exception is raised, okay? So let me just go ahead and show you that what happens when we do find it, right? So there's that index two because it was found at zero, one, two at the, at the third element. And if it wasn't found, then exception gets raised. Value error, 99 is not in the list, okay? So that's how index works. Now let me show you how insert works, right? What this is gonna do is this is going to take 
two arguments, an index where I want to insert something and the thing I want to insert, right? So um, let's say that I wanted to insert a value in between the eight and the six, right? So if that's the case, then what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna specify as my first argument uh, one, right? So that one is for index one, uh, which is the index of value six. And so what will happen is, is that my new value will take six's place, but six, seven, and five are gonna move over. They're gonna shift over to the right one position to make room. Okay, so let me show you what that looks like. So I, or excuse me, a dot insert, and I'm going to put that new value before the six, right? And so six, seven, five are gonna shift over one to the right, and uh, I'll insert 99. Okay, now if I go to print my list, right, what am I going to see? I should see 899675. Okay, and there you go. Right, so this is an alternative to the append method, right? Because the append method, remember, uh, previous video showed you um, append method just tacks new values onto the end of the list um, no matter what's in the list already. Here, I can specify exactly where I want my new value to go. Okay, so that's insert. And uh, let's take a look at uh, sort, right? So the sort method does what you would think it does, right? This is gonna sort the members of the list in ascending order. That is from smallest to biggest. And this is gonna require that items in the list can be compared using relational operator, right? Just like before uh, with the previous method that we were taking a look at, the min and the max, or the, the previous functions, I should say, min and max, okay? Uh, if they can't be compared, it's gonna raise uh, an exception. Okay, so let me just show you how this works. So we'll just say a.sort, that's it. Uh, the method doesn't take any arguments, just dot sort right and so then if I print out the list and run this thing you'll see that the list has now been sorted right okay so that's what sort does uh, let's see here I want to show you what remove does so remove is going to accept as an argument a value you want to get rid of in the list okay and so what remove is going to do is it's going to start at element zero and scan uh, from left to right so it's going to start at element zero then go to element one element two element three and it's going to be looking for the argument you provide and as soon as it finds a match it's going to remove that first instance of uh, that argument in your list doesn't deal with duplicates it's just going to get rid of the first one that it finds, right? And if it doesn't find it, then it's going to raise an exception, okay? So this is going to uh, scan from left to right and looking for the argument. Uh, and it's going to remove the first instance of that argument that it finds. Okay, uh, if not found, raises and exception. Okay, so let's get rid of the seven. Okay, so what I do is I just say a dot uh, remove. Okay, and I want to get rid of the seven. Okay, so once I do that, I'll print my updated list without the seven in it anymore. Okay, and so you can see right there, the seven is gone, right? Removed it, boom, it's out of there, okay? Uh, so that's remove. And the very last one I wanted to show you was reverse, okay? And this just reverses the order of the items uh, in your list, right? And this is another uh, method that's simple like sort, doesn't take any arguments, just takes whatever the list is and then reverses it, 
right? So I can do something like this, a dot reverse, and then I'll print my updated list and run this thing. And you're gonna see, hey, look, the values are now in reverse order, okay? Okay, so let's summarize what we did in this video. In this video, I showed you some useful functions and methods for working with lists in Python. The functions we looked at were min and max, and both of those functions are built into the language, so they're ready to go. You don't have to import anything, and they allow you to identify the smallest value and the biggest value in the list, and they're going to require that those items in your list be comparable to each other, that they be items that you can compare against each other with um, relational operators. And they accept a list name as an argument and return either the smallest item in the list or the biggest. Okay, the methods we looked at were index, insert, sort, remove, and reverse. Index is useful for finding where something's located in your list. It's going to take a list as an argument and then return an index of where it found it in the list, or it'll raise an exception if not found. Insert is a method that takes an index and some piece of data that you want to put into the list and allows you to specify where in the list you want that piece of data to go, right? This is different than append, where append always puts something at the very end. Insert allows you to uh, put something in the middle of the list or the beginning of the list, anywhere you want. Okay, sort is a method that takes no arguments and will just arrange all of the data in your list in ascending order. And like min and max requires that the items in the list can be compared against each other using relational operator. And remove is a method that accepts an argument and it's going to scan your list starting at element zero and going from left to right and it's going to remove the first instance of its argument that it finds in your list. Doesn't remove duplicate, duplicates, just removes the one value. And if it doesn't find the value to remove, it's going to raise an exception. Okay. And the last thing we looked at was the reverse method. Accepts no arguments and just takes your list and rearranges it in reverse order. Okay. So that's going to bring this video to a close. If you felt that the video was useful, please consider giving the video a thumbs up. And if you thought that the video sucked, well, then you've got that thumbs down button as an option as well. If you'd like to see more videos, if you're interested in more content from the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And as usual, if you're a student of mine and you have further questions, feel free to drop me an email or to stop by my office hours. Okay, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.